We start here, and we're going to do a bent leg cartwheel. Fingers pointing backwards. Land here. Fingers point backwards. Fingers point backwards. So once you start straightening your legs, it's very useful to practice this big arc that the uh, leg has to take, which is a bit scary. So here are my top exercises. So um, I recommend that you are comfortable doing some sort of kick up into a handstand with the wall. If you've never done a kick up before, there is a link in the description box. Because this will be a diagonal kick up where we will imitate what's happening here at the beginning of the cartwheel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stand here like this with my foot pointing towards the wall and the other one here is in a 90 degrees angle. I'm going to do a diagonal cartwheel. My hands will be like this. Yeah, my right is closer to the wall. It's going to be my right leg that comes off the floor and I'm going to try and touch the wall with the outside edge of my right foot. Like this. Like that, yeah? Make sure that the leg that you're jumping off with, the second one, it doesn't come up into a rabbit jump like this, but it stays straight because you are ready to come back to the floor. Yeah, ready to come back to the floor, not to crash into the wall. Yeah, we are ready to land safely on the floor. Again, here, the foot points that way, my hands are going to be in front of one of the other and the right is further front. Right leg is going to come off first, yep. kick up, touch the wall, make sure this leg is straight and touch the wall, okay? So you can practice this, uh, you can practice this both sides, make this really smooth, make sure that you don't straighten your back, make sure you don't do this as you bring weight onto the hands, but you want to push down into the floor, round the back, don't stick the head out. Um, the second exercise, you should be somewhat comfortable to do a handstand with your front uh, facing the wall. So we're not going to go very close to the wall, but still it is a handstand. So this is what it looks like mm, up on the wall. And then from here, you want to turn towards the leg as you bring this leg down to here. You want to stretch as long as possible, even if your mobility isn't great. You can stretch until here before you come off the wall. Please don't jump away from the wall. There is no need for that. You will come down away from the wall anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop joking and teach you the stuff. All right, so you make sure you turn towards the leg. Turn towards the leg. Big stretch. Turn. Big, big, big stretch, 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 turn, look at the foot. Okay, let's take it one step further. Now you're going to take a step with your hand and then do the stretch. Step with the hand and then look, I'm going to adjust my feet on the wall here a bit so that I get a nice support to do a big arc and then come to the floor. This one's a bit tricky. You might need to practice it for a while. It really nicely approximates the last bit of the cartwheel where you need to create a big arc with the leg. Let me show you one more time. Here. I'm going to take a step. Look, I'm turning my body. And then I'm taking a big arc here. Big, big arc. It's not here. It's by your side, almost a bit behind you. And then I'm going to reach towards the floor with this leg. If you can do this movement smoothly, you'll be fine to do the second part of the cartwheel. And for the first part, you have the kick up in a diagonal. Practice these, put them together with your ski frog, ski landing cartwheel, and you'll be able to piece it together over time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.